It's your girl, Pastor Stacy, and I want to welcome you to another New Hope FTC worship service. Come on in, come on in, come on in to hear what thus saith the Lord from our very own Pastor Harry on this afternoon. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So, as you come in, like, tag, and share to let your family, friends, mommy, Lottie, daddy, and everybody know that New Hope is on the air. Yay! New Hope! New Hope! New Hope! New Hope! New Hope! New hope. <laughs> so... I would like to introduce to some and present to others the one and only Pastor Harry L. Kaysan the second. Woo! Come on, Pastor Harry. Preach the word, sir. Preach the word. Give an honor to God, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to all of the saints of the Most High God to my wife, the very illustrious Pastor Stacy K. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I waited a lot of years to change her last name. And I like how it sounds. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you, any man that's watching, if you got a lady in your life and you ain't changed her last name yet, what you waiting on? <laughs> Listen, I was just able to be a part of recently and be in, be the officiant of one of my one of my best friends in the world, one of my very good friends in the world, one of my teammates, one of my homies, and home skillets. Damon Reed and his wife now, Salon Reed. Can we just give them some love? Two wonderful people that had known each other for a little while and decided that they wanted to do the right thing before the eyes of God. I encourage you on today. Marriage is good. And it's a blessing before the eyes of God. So if you got the time, you got the right person, and this is your right season. Won't you consider it? Consider your boy. I'm available. Pastor Stacy and myself, we also do marriage counseling. We do single counseling, uh, 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 non-marital counseling, premarital counseling. Because we want to see the people of God survive. You know, it saddens my heart uh, 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 when I hear about the saints of God separating them getting apart from each other and can't make it because of the stuff of life. When we make these vows, we make them before God and it's supposed to be till death do us part. We got to find a way. Listen, I tell you this much and it's just why I totally agree. You love God and they love God and y'all doing it together. There's absolutely no reason why you can't make it. The Bible says the only way you probably really won't, if one of them turn away from the, their belief in God. But if both of y'all believe in God, believe in the word, trying to live by it, life has its ups and downs, its things, its stuff. But we got to learn to be an example to the world. It's sad. It's sad when I hear that the saints of God are, are, being, are getting divorced and separating in the rate that it is. We should have learned from our grandparents, great grandparents, our, our, our mothers and fathers that we seen survive. And if it wasn't them, we got aunties and uncles, we got grand uh, uh, godparents that we seen that's been examples of what it take. My father in the gospel used to say a word is not in the dictionary, but it sounds good. It's called sticktivity, and that is sticking in, hanging in. Don't give up. And see, that's what I'm talking about on today. And I'm excited about this message. I just had to get those things out because it was on my heart. And I just wanted to encourage somebody. As the old song says, you can make it. 
you can make it. This trial you're going through, God's going to show you just what to do. You can make it. You can make it. I don't care what's going wrong. God said it won't last too long. You're not in this thing alone. You can make Oh, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. And I'm explaining to you today on how you can make it. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you on today. Oh, Father God, we, we exalt your name. We glorify your name. We magnify your name because we know where you are we where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty liberty and we are free from bondage we are free from sin we are the chosen people of the most high god and we have to do the things that's going to be pleasing until your eyesight so that one day you can say well done my good and faithful servant Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart to be acceptable unto thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God, the less of me and the more of you. And I pray on today that someone will be encouraged, someone will be enthused, someone will be re-energized, pumped up, and ready to continue on and pushing through the way. We give you all the glory and honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. On today, on today. Let's go. Let's go to Hebrews. The 13th chapter at the 5th verse. And then we're going to come back and go to Matthew's. The 6th chapter, from the 25th to the 28th verse, and then we're going to skip 29, but then go from 30 to 32. Y'all got that? I hope somebody can put it on the screen. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6, and then Matthew 6, 25 to 28. And then from 30 to 32. And this is the word of God. He says, let not your conversation. This is Hebrews 13 and 5. Let not your conversation be without covetousness. But be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Let me read that last First, I just read both of them again. Let not your conversation be without covetousness, but be content with such things ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee. How many people in your life that you knew at one time or another, and you can say they used to be my homie? Now they act like they don't know me. Uh, We're going to leave that one for another message. Then it says, so that we may boldly say, you can say this with confidence. <laughs> when my man Kevin Hart said, say it with your chest. <laughs> say it with your chest that the Lord is my helper. Come on now, how much can we get right When we know that the Lord is our helper. You know, a lot of times we get helpers 
in, in church, in school, at work, at the house. We get different kind of helpers. And sometimes you realize they ain't no help. They a problem. <laughs> they getting on your nerves. But when you say that the Lord is my helper, my helper. Put it on band and drums. The Lord is my helper. I said, I said, he's our help. The scripture says he's our help in the very present time of trouble. And I will not fear what no man shall do unto me. No fear. Do you understand what that says? He says, I will not fear. <laughs> Let me read the rest of my scriptures. Skipping over to Matthew 6 and 25. It says, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, and what shall ye put on. Is it not the life more than meat? In the body, the raiment, behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, but yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Ye are not much better than they. He he asked the question if he taking care of birds and all they do is sing and whistle and make noise unto God. They don't give no offering. They don't give no sacrifices. They don't fast. They don't pray. But he take care of the birds. What you think he going to do about you? Come on. He says, are you much better than they? In the 27th verse, it says, which are you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his statue? And why take ye thought for raiment, considering the lilies of the fields? In how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. Skipping now to the 30th verse. Wherefore, if God so clothes the grass of the fields, <laughs> which today and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? If he take care of the world and all the natural elements, will he not take care of you? Oh, ye of little faith. There was a good bishop back in Philly. And people used to know him for in our old organization. And he used to say, where's your faith? Some of them thought he was saying, where's your face? <laughs> <laughs> but he kept saying, where is your faith? He would say that all the time. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> where is your faith? Therefore, take no thought saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or whereof shall we be clothed? In and in and 32. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knoweth that ye need all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven in all his righteousness. And all these things 
shall be added unto you. I know you said, Pastor Harry, that was a lot of scriptures. But I needed all of that build up to get to that last verse. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. And all these things shall be added unto thee. So in Hebrews 13 and 6, it says that so we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me, because I am seeking the kingdom of God in all his righteousness, in everything, every single thing. We ain't missing nothing, but everything shall be added unto thee. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Everything. Everything. And my message on today is, as the old great philosopher, poet, some may call him rapper, Big Punisher said, I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. The song said, I ain't never scared. What? I ain't never scared. What? I ain't never scared. What? I ain't, I ain't never scared. Saints of the Most High God, when you know that the Lord is your helper, you ain't never got to be scared. You ain't never got to worry. You ain't never got to fret. Because He is our helper. So we ain't got to fear. <laughs> I'm telling you on today. Let me slow down because I didn't get there yet. All right. All right. Because I want to get through my, my three points so I can act like I know better. Uh, I'm going to tell you my three because the way I'm going, I might hit them. But I want you to know what they is. <laughs> my first point is. Why do we fear? That is a major question. Why do we fear? My second thought is no worries. I ain't got no reason to fear. We ain't got no reason to fear. And my last one is because of Christ, all fears are gone. The the, 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 the songwriter said, and because I know who holds my future, life is worth the living just. Because he lives, all my fears are going. I don't have to be scared. I don't have to be terrorized. I don't have to worry about Chucky. Michael Myers, Freddy Cougar, the Halloween man, this man, the people under the stairs who hiding on the roof, the little Negroes running around trying to jack people. I ain't got to be scared because I know who holds my future. We don't have to fear. You don't have to fear. I need you to write on the screen, hashtag, I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. Put your name down. Tito, I ain't never scared. Stacy, I ain't never scared. Lamoy, I ain't never scared. New birth, I ain't never scared. New hope, I ain't never scared. Ha! New hope. New hope, I ain't never scared, never scared. of the devil, his fire, his demons, what they trying to come at you, wishes, warlock, because I don't fear, because the Lord is my helper, I will not fear what men shall say unto me, what men shall do unto me. Though he save me, yet will I trust. 
though he attack me, yet will I trust. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, because I have seeked the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness and everything God has for me is for me. I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about her. I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about that. Ask me why, Pastor Harry. Hashtag ask me why, Pastor Harry. Because I ain't never scared. What? I ain't never scared of who? I ain't never scared of where? I ain't never scared of none of them W's. I ain't never scared. The Bible says, put on the whole armor of God. So when you got the armor on, you got your helmet, you got your breastplate, you got your shoulders covered, you got your arms covered, got on them good metal bars. Oh my God, your stomach's covered, you covered your legs. You cover your thighs. You got a whole armor even on your back. It's bulletproof. Turn to your neighbor. Say, because of God, I'm bulletproof. Because of my helper, I won't fear what's going on in this world. Because of my trust, it's in the almost Yahweh, the almost high, the most high. I will never fear. I'll never get worried. I'll never fret because my God, he hasn't failed me yet. And see, the thing about a good soldier is, that even when you are in a fight and it seems like all hell is raging against you, that you got to trust that help is on the way. And I want to tell you on a day, some of you might be scared. Some of you might worry. Some of you might fret. Some of you might not be able to put your big boy drawers on. But I tell you on today, help is on the way. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. The APB is out there in the air. SOS is showing to God. Batman light is shining in the clouds. And God is on the way. Help is on the way. Don't you be scared. Don't you worry. Because if you think Batman will show up with the sign in the sky, you ain't got no reason to fear because Jesus, 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 J-U-S-U-S, Jesus, J-U-S-E-S, Jesus, Jesus, call his name, Jesus, call his name, Jesus, call his name, Jesus, 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 oh my God, I need you to say this with me. <laughs> I ain't never scared. New hope. New hope. I ain't never scared. Never scared. Truth redemption. I ain't never scared. Never scared. How for redemption. I ain't never scared. Never scared. New birth. I ain't never scared. Never scared. 
New birth alliance, I ain't never scared. Never scared. Saints of the most high God. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. What? I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. My God, my God, I ain't never scared. I don't worry about man. But I put my trust in God. And if you put your trust in God, you don't have to fear with no man or nothing shall try to do unto you. Hey. hey, glory, 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 glory. Come on, come on, come on. Put it back up on the screen. I ain't never scared. The Bible Woo. says God hasn't given us the spirit of fear. Hey, glory. So we ain't never, never, ever, ever, never got to be scared. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for using our Pastor Harry on this day. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm encouraged today to know that I ain't never got to be scared. What? Never scared. What? <laughs> Never scared. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! I know you ain't supposed to come behind the preacher and preach, but listen, I got a tap in my feet, Pastor oh, yeah. Harry. <laughs> Woo! Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Hey, glory, glory. I never scared, yes, never scared, yes, never scared. Yes, yes. Oh, we so excited about yes, what the Lord has yes, said to us yes, on today, yes, knowing that yes, we ain't got to never be scared. Yes, praise yes, God, praise I'm God, praise I'm... God, Woo! praise God. Woo! Woo! God is good. Hey. Come on, wherever you are. Hey. Pick them up and put them down. Let God know that you ain't never scared. Put the enemy under your feet. Hey. Sometimes we got to testify with our feet and let the world know that we ain't never scared. Because God is on our side. Not only do he got our back, but he got our front. He got the left and the right. He got the top and the bottom. So we ain't never got to be scared. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Hey. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Woo. I know this message has reached somebody on today. And if you know a loved one that need to be encouraged, that need to know that they don't have to fear and they don't have to be scared, I want you to tag them to this message or share it to their page. Invite them to watch it again on YouTube. Yes, 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 yes. This one of those messages, Pastor, that they need to save and they vote to go back to uh -huh. when the enemy try to trick them and make them uh -huh. think that they got to give up, that they not going to win. And you might be feeling a little timid or a little afraid. Uh -huh. You can go back and hit play. I ain't never scared. Ha! Oh, glory to his name. Father, we thank you for knowing that we ain't got to be afraid on today. And if it's someone that doesn't know the Lord of their personal savior, we invite you to come to learn about this man called Jesus that teaches us that we don't have to fear and we don't have to be afraid. Simply put hashtag pray for me. Hashtag home on the screen and someone from our ministry staff will get in contact with you. And now we're going to enter a portion of the service where everybody can be a part. It's time to celebrate the word of God through our tithes and our offering. Will a man rob God? Yes, through his tithes and his offering. So we don't want you to be afraid to give on today. We don't want you to be a robber on today. So go ahead and look in the description box and all over the screen, you'll see the multiple ways of giving. So New Hope, you can go ahead and send your tithes on today. And family, friends, loved ones, and supporters, go ahead and send your offering on today to help 
the household of faith, to continue doing what we do for God. And if you desire prayer, you want some Bible study, you just want a fellowship, go ahead to our website and you'll see a plethora of things to choose from right here. Charlotte. Charlotte ain't just lit at the clubs, but it's lit at the new hope. It's lit up in the house of God. I want you to know somebody. Yes, sir. So until next time, always remember there's hope at new hope. God bless. Hey.